do you have reason to believe that this particular suspected killer was was taking in information or was in any way influenced by the, the, the vitriol or the rhetoric that you're referring to that you know has been out on the airwaves? Uh, if your question is specific, I, I have to be specific and say I don't have that information yet. The investigation is very in its very initial phases. But my belief, and I've been watching uh, what's been going on in this country for the last 75 years, and I've been a police officer for over 50 years, there's no doubt in my mind that when uh, a number of people night and day try to inflame the public that there's going to be some consequences from doing that, and I think it's irresponsible to do that. Is that, Sheriff, just, it sounds like you're being very honest that that's just your speculation and that's not anything that's fact-based at this point. That, that's, that's my opinion, period. And, you know, we've had some, some people question whether that is something you should be sharing now because tempers are already inflamed, people are upset about what's happened, the grieving families are still mourning, the bodies have yet to be buried, and, and is it the time really to be injecting speculative opinion uh, like that into this case by somebody like yourself, the sheriff? Well, I think difference of opinion is, is what makes the world go round and round. But I think it's irresponsible for us not at some point to, to address this kind of uh, behavior and try to put a stop to it. There's no doubt in my mind that there are consequences to this kind of behavior. When, when people, uh, allegedly credible people, who get up in, in, in front of cameras and, and microphones and say things that are not true, and uh, try to inflame the public when millions of dollars are filtered into this country to buy very vitriolic ads and they don't have to be identified the countries that they're coming from or the people who are donating them I think it's time that we take a look at it I think free speech is free speech but it's not without consequences and, and with respect sheriff I know that you are you're a Democrat and you ran for office as a Democrat and and I just want to press you on that a little because I, I'm sure some of us are asking themselves why you are putting a, a political spin on this when it when they may be asking why you the sheriff aren't just focused on the facts on uncovering the facts well I think that it's more than just a political spin I'm not sure that it really has anything to do with politics you know I grew up in a country that was totally different from the country that we have today we didn't have this kind of nonsense going on and it used to be that politicians from different parties could sit down forget about their ideology and work on the country's problems we don't see that happening today as a matter of fact we see just the opposite we see one party trying to block the attempts of another party to make this a better country and i think that it's time that we as a as a country need to look into our souls and into our hearts and say is what we're doing really in the best interest of this country or is there something better that we can do now that's a fair point you know i'm separate and apart from what we saw in arizona yesterday i mean you could make the argument that we just need to come together as a country but i think you know people are looking at what happened in tucson and, and what you seem to be telling us what the feds seem to be telling us is we're dealing with and i don't use this term legally i'm not trying to say anything about how this is going to plead out in a, in a courtroom uh... some sort of madmen you know just like we've had in the past uh, uh, the, the assassination of robert kennedy the assassination of john f kennedy you know the assassination of martin luther king as you refer to a time gone by there were madmen then there are madmen now and it just, you know, is it, is it really the place of a sheriff to stir the pot on either side of the political aisle? Well, I guess that's for the listeners to decide.